Here's the Daily News front page, keeping it simple, above a photo of Eric Adams. The headline just reads, indicted. More and more details about the indictment are going to trickle out today, but the paper sums up the importance of this story like this. An arrest would make Adams the first mayor in the modern era to face criminal charges while in office. The Daily News nicely lays out the specifics of what Adams and what several people in his inner circle are being investigated over, allegations of illegal campaign donations, conspiracy to steal federal funds, and potential favors for foreign governments. Bill Bramhall's cartoon ties all of this to a signature Eric Adams initiative. Rats are intrigued by the smell emanating from the kind of curbside trash bin Adams has pushed for the five boroughs. The bin is labeled City Hall. All right, the story is on the front page of the journal as well. Below the fold, the paper calls this a stunning blow to the leader of the nation's largest city, and it points out how the mayor closely tied himself to people who had brushes with the law in the past, like Deputy Mayor for Public Safety Philip Banks, who was an unindicted co-conspirator in a federal corruption investigation that never got hit with charges. Adams has defended such close relationships as attempts to give people second chances. Okay, in the Post, I uh, got a statement from Adams directly where he claimed he was being targeted by federal authorities. He indicated it's over his handling of the migrant influx that hit the city in recent years. Sources also tell the Post that Governor Hochul had no plans as of yesterday to use her power to remove Adams from office. And if public advocate Jamani Williams were then to assume the office, he would have to set a date for a special mayoral election at least 80 days from when he took control. Shockingly, the Adams indictment does not make the print edition of today's New York Times, even though it was the outlet that broke the story yesterday. However, it does have this report based on sources close to City Hall investigations. There is heavy interest in finding communications that could show former police commissioner Edward Caban, his twin brother, and other NYPD officers took bribes in exchange for favors made to local nightclubs. The investigation allegedly involves cell phone records going back to January 2018. On to now some uh, international news.